Can't see that very well, but we are heading to Lisbon, Portugal. What's up guys, this is Bruce from Printavo. We are at O'Hare International Airport. That's Northwest in Chicago. Heading directly over to Lisbon, then popping over to Porto to visit the Rock facility there. Really excited about it. Meeting with a ton of different shops, printing in and outside of the industry. It's gonna be an awesome week there. I'm actually grabbing Peter, our head of engineering. We're gonna meet up and we got a long flight ahead of us. Let's go. We found him. We finally made it. I thought he was going to miss it. Stop number one, Lisbon, Portugal. Got a quick lay over here and then we're heading on over to Porto. Alright, we're on our final leg out into Porto. We're in Lisbon right now and this is the little hopper that we're heading on over there. We're there for about a week. It's really, really exciting. Right now invited us out to the Rock Manufacturing Facility. So we're gonna be out there. They're going to be showing us around how everything's made, the engineering, the design, all the new manufacturing that's just going on there, the new presses coming out. And then there's a ton of shops coming with us too, so it's going to be a really nice time. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. here in Porto. About to take a glimpse of the sunrise here before we got a long day. I'm gonna try to get a nice spot. Launch this thing. You guys ready? Let's take a look. About Ryanair. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryanair. It's uh, not associated with Ryanette, not to be confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to S Rock. This is the office, the main office. We have accounting right there. This is a sales, uh, the sales room. I only have a couple of colleagues here. All the rest of the team is in ITMA show, preparing uh, the booth, uh, installing the presses, uh, all the equipment. We'll be joining them on, on Wednesday. So uh, this is uh, basically when I, sp I spend the most part of my time. Here we have a, 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 big, uh, a big building with uh, oval machines. It's the oval uh, assembly department. Okay, so we're gonna start the visit uh, through this area. Oh, with an eye. Awesome. Oh, kidding me? Really cool to see the flags in each of the press and where they're going. Egypt, India, China. We'll send it to Jamaica. We have engineering, purchase, production, management, uh, after sale service is all in that room. Then we go to the laser, the laser division, to to see how they do the the little parts, the little components that uh, we need to uh, assemble all the, the equipment. Why we start the room, uh, the the tour like this? Because when the company born here, when the, we build uh, all this uh, building. We start right here with these two buildings. Then we were expanding slowly, slowly, step by step. We expand to this direction, and then later we had to step to, to grow to that direction. So that's like that's why we have here in the middle of the camp we have the assembly. So 
We have to cross this area. I will check laser division and then fabrication, then CNC. Then we'll be back to this room and then we'll meet all the rest of the, uh, the company division. It's perfect for the new Printavo HQ right over here. Here in this room we have uh, production management, the production manager is there, uh, purchase department, we have after sales service, parts department, uh, quality control, and this is all the labelers and stickers and design area. Okay. Here on my on my right we have all the fabrication. Uh, so all the structures, all the machine fabrication happens right there. And we are going this way to, to meet the laser division. Okay. This machine here is a laser tube, cutting tube machine. We have another room with all flat laser cutting machines. The laser division is uh, two factories basically. Okay, this one and the next building. When we start this division, we start thinking on only on the equipment we, we manufacture, the, the machine. But the investment was too high when you buy the first, very first laser cutting machine, flat bed. And we decide to open like a, a division to serve different kind of customers to outsource uh, parts. So, and with that decision, we were able to grow this big division, working 24/7, give us the chance to invest in uh, high, high capacity and precision tools and machines, so we can have uh, the best technology to can uh, produce uh, the parts to our own uh, our own machines. Okay. What kind of clients we serve here? 70% is for rock machines. The other 30% we talk about cranes, car seats, light towers, ATM machines, scales, uh, electrical cabinets. So it's a big, big diversity of product we cut and serve, outsource all the parts. All the metal is stored there by thickness, by type of metal, by size. So all this area we have the bending machines, on the other side we have the laser cutting machines. When you guys look down this, this middle aisle when we wrap the corner you'll see a robot like picking tool where they actually just input a code. The robot's on a rail system, it'll go grab the metal that's needed, put it on a pallet and then send it out. So really like top notch. Basically, we sell all the metal uh, waste scrap. Yeah, all the scrap, we sell it. Uh, trucks come here, we check the weight in that scale, and it's how it works. From this, this corner right here, we have all CNC machines. Right there, we have uh, turns. to supply uh, what we need to prepare the print heads. This area is all about pallets. We cut the pallets in the CNC uh, area, but all the finishment, uh, all the sanding process uh, is here. Go up and we'll see the digital division, we'll see the crating area, and finally we'll see the division where we assemble dryers, washers, uh, and uh, folding lines and packaging machines. This is all the crating uh, department and shipping. We have the shipping docks also. We have here a lift. So all this company is, we need lifts because the, how we have all the buildings uh, separated. So the machines are coming from, uh, already disassembled from uh, uh, the assembly. So here we crate them. So we put in the crates and then we fill containers. And then we will see that we have marks on the ground to simulate like 20 feet containers or 40 feet containers. In this corner, boilers and uh, flocking stations. The most part of the, the dryer structures came from an outsourcing partner. Filled with all the metal that we cut on the laser and we, we fill him, we, we source him with all the metal. He put the parts together and send us the dryer 
structure exactly like that in some. So in here we put we assemble all the rest of the the body of the machine. Okay, we test it and we ship. So we want to have like a, a show you a general demonstration about how the, the product works. And uh, we would like to talk about some new feature we are developing. So all the time we'll have uh, Sergio here, is the guy in charge of all these divisions. And we'll have some uh, couple of colleagues from the engineering department right there for any questions. So we'll try to stay here just an hour because then we go to the conference room and start the uh, talks. We have planned and some presentations. We have a loading part, we have a, a, a sleeves uh, fold section the body fold section and the final fold uh, uh, section. Uh, in the program, we have uh, a lot of kinds of uh, folds that we can, we can use uh, to fold the, the, the pieces. Uh, like fold in the middle, fold in four parts, fold with fixed size. And uh, this is uh, completely adjustable. We have a lot of jobs created on the machine that we can load. Uh, when we want. If we want to run with t-shirts, we can choose a t-shirt program. If we want to work with Woody's, we have a, a Woody's program, so it's very easy to, to exchange between works. The main idea of this software is for controlling the machine, the fold machine, and we can also control the printer when we can print a label to apply directly, directly on the on the final pack. We have a file uh, that we can insert uh, all uh, the recipes, the recipes of the folding, uh, the barcodes, uh, the drawing, ev everything that we want to control, the number of pieces that we want to print. And the only thing that we need to do is uh, to scan, to scan the barcode, and then the recipe is sent to the machine. It doesn't have to be a separate process. That can be attached right here to the main control yeah. panel, the barcode. So you can actually scan it. Normally, what we have some uh, applications that we have done with the tablet. We can insert the tablet here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's near the machine. Only scan the barcode. Mm -hmm. If we want to change, it's only came here. We have two recipes. We scan another one and we send. You are going to see that uh, this one is, uh, is going to be folded with a different size. To see the manufacturing process, how the sausage gets made, I guess you could say, super exciting, especially in here. Everything's so clean and put together. Everybody's wearing the uniforms. The floors are pristine. Just an overall awesome facility. We all do this manual, but this can be, do, can be done with a, a barcode can. Or even, for example, if we drag and drop the file to a not folder automatically, the, also the software will load the, the design to the, to, the, to, the, to the queue. All the jobs have, have been sending to the, to, the, to the stations, to the digital stations. Now we just load and pick the, the design to be printed here, just that. Here we have the recipes uh, where we can do set different things. What what the, the flashes that will work, it presses, every, and also the print scripts. Okay.
Well, that was awesome. Really cool tour of the facility, looking at the new rock hybrid. Really exciting, just the technology coming out of here. Everybody's really pushing this industry forward. Actually, a shop just grabbed one of these in Canada who does a lot of high volume. Just seeing this thing work, I mean, this one specifically, you could screen print a base layer and then digitally print on top, or you could just use the white ink print that and then print the CMYK on top of that too. Um, it'll flash it, it'll flatten it, it'll do all the work right around the oval and you just pull it off. And they run about about like 80 to 100 or so an hour. Um, so very unique niche type of, of need there, but really, really neat. Well, didn't get a whole ton of sleep last night as everybody was out at the bar downtown, which was a ton of fun. Just being able to hang out with so many shops from all over the U.S. Uh, one spot, just having a good time drinking, telling stories. It was a lot of fun. I wish I actually brought my camera to that one. Today we got a ton of tours. We're meeting with Rock on a couple different things. We're um, testing out some of the new equipment and actually printing. So it'll be a lot of fun. I'm John. How are you? How are you? Feeling good. How about you? Yeah? Yeah. Hey Bruce. Yo. The metal cutter gives me chills. <laughs> the electronic music out here is weird. Yeah. Is that EDM? <laughs> 